Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the Help You Need with another 3DS Max video tutorial. Uh, really quick, something I did was uh, add a symmetry modifier so that way we can add both sides. Now I didn't push it close enough, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, so, like that. Um, so that way we can just have both sides added to it. Uh, I also delete went underneath here and deleted out the insides of this. Uh, you'll see why and probably by the end of this video, hopefully. Um, Alright, so right now what we're going to do is we're just going to work on some simple stuff here, like the, uh, the sights here, we'll work on this uh, little, I don't know what the heck that is, the notches, and then we're going to work on that. Um, it'll all take, it shouldn't all take that long. So, Alright, so the first part we're going to work on is right here. So we'll just go ahead and select that, and uh, now me being lazy and not liking polygons as much as the next guy, uh, I like to go ahead and add, I don't know, maybe, uh, we'll go up to five, alright, and we're going to go ahead and pinch them, make them pretty close together, um, go ahead, scale them, and what we're going to do is this, and this will go ahead and flatten them out, alright, and at the bottom where you see the X, you want to try to get them to, um, either one or zero, so, Alright, there we go. Now let's go ahead and move all of these this way. And um, we can go ahead and add more, but uh, me again, not liking polygons, I'm only going to add like five of these. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and select these row by row, like that. Well, opposites, and we're going to go ahead and bevel. Uh, now, if you're wondering why I'm not doing the, uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do, so I'm going to inset these, this will just give us a little bit more polygons, so we'll inset, do the same thing here, and if you're wondering why I'm not just beveling them straight out like that, uh, the reason's actually really pretty simple, it's because, um, if I were to do that, uh, either they'd be clumped together, or I would, me, I would probably use um, bevel by polygon, and that would separate every polygon inside of each. So, so. all right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we're going to bevel them in. All right, so probably about there. Uh, now you can add more of these if you want. I'm actually going to add about two more of them. So uh, let's go ahead and connect. Same thing over here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, then we're just going to move these over close enough to them to make them look correct. So we'll move there. Select four. Go ahead and set that. There we go. Ahead and just use the uh, preset inset here that I have. Oops, I guess it's not very preset anymore, but what it was, alright, that's about right, and right here, go ahead and inset, okay, and now we're going to go ahead and bevel, so, there, and I can actually get this one, I think, uh, pull that off. So now, we'll go ahead, and we'll go ahead and take that off, click Alt X, check this out over here, oh yeah, you can notice that, alright, so we're going to leave that one alone, keep those two though, and uh, there we go, now there's a little bit of space there, that's alright, no one's really going to notice that, I don't think, alright, so let's go ahead and uh, do the sights now, that'll only take a few seconds here, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the way I'm going to do it, so I'm going to click Alt-C, and I'm just going to, uh, it looks like these come out and back. Uh, actually, let me see something right here, because uh, we can just use a spline, depending how it looks. Um, let's see. Alright, nah, alright. Let's go ahead and Alt-C, and we'll go ahead and use some cuts here, and cut here, to here, to there. Right, so let's come up to the top view. Again, 
have another selection Got one right there. And cross, cross. Okay, there. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll go ahead and select that. Put it right here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and extrude. Well, I guess we can bevel it out. No, I'm not gonna make him like the exact shape or anything. I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of make the uh, make him look semi right. I'm not really too worried about the sights because sights can really look like anything that you make them look like. So I mean, there's not too much uh, worry there. Symmetry, check out that, see how that looks. Alright. Poly. I actually want to deselect those. Uh, there, before I bevel it, that was stupid of me to do. Alright, there. That's all I need. Go ahead and just move these apart, split them up like that. All right, and we gotta split up the bottom here too. So, okay, and uh, now the I know this may look a little weird, but what you gotta do for these sites at least is just connect this. And just bevel this. Actually, we can just bridge that. I think. Yeah, I think it'll do the same thing. Yeah, that's basically all you have to do for that to make it look correct. All right, symmetry modifier, bam. Okay, so those are your sights. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the little. I don't know what that thing is at the front. We're gonna go ahead and add that. Um, uh, we're gonna do it just by. Uh, I guess we can do a cut there or something. Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. That'll be the easiest thing. Well, depending on where it is. Yeah, okay. Alright, so let's cut that across right there. For inset. And we'll just extrude up. Now again, this is something I'm not really too worried about either. Uh, mostly because it's a small, minor detail that really has will not affect us at all. So, so no one's gonna be like, "Hey, you know that site's completely messed up." Well, I mean, if it's completely messed up, they might notice. But no one's gonna be like, "Hey, that site's not right. It's supposed to be at a 90 degree angle instead of a 45 or whatever." So don't worry about that. Um, I still want to add in realism, so I mean, I'll try. To, I'll do basically everything up to the right standards, but some little things, little details to it, I'm not really too concerned about. All right, um, well, that's about all we're gonna get done with this video. All right, and uh, so basically, you should have something that looks like this. Um, something I want to do really quick though is select that right there. Yeah, close this up. Once we close this off here and uh, make it a little bit smaller, by a little bit I mean a lot, but once we make it smaller, uh, it'll be nice and good and we'll go ahead and we can be done. So, uh, If you already made it small enough, don't worry about the rest of this tutorial because it's basically the same thing. Um, I hope to see you guys in my next videos uh, since we got that finished. Um, and this is going to be the last section here of uh, the slide. So next time we'll just go ahead and finish up this part right down here and we'll start with the handle. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.